Hey guys, Envy here. I just wanted to do another quick video for you guys. Uh, I'm gonna be, as I said earlier, I'm gonna be doing some backpacking in the late summer, early fall this year. So I'm kind of getting all my gear in order, and I just wanted to give you guys a few tips and pointers on uh, on backpacking tents. You know, a lot of you guys are looking for like the lightest tent you can get your hands on. You're trying to figure out all your all your ways to cut your weight ounce by ounce. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys a few things that I came up with that will increase the capability of your tent and some of which will actually lighten the load when you're when it's on your back. Uh, the first of which is, uh, I don't care what kind of tent you get, I don't care who makes it. Uh, I've got, currently got the Kelty Grand Mesa 2, which I personally think is a great tent. It's an unbelievable value. I'm gonna go into that one later on in detail. I'm gonna do a review on it. But uh, I know that that thing is really light, it's cheap. But like any tent that comes from any manufacturer, some of the things that they that those tents come with, the manufacturer cheaps out on with to begin with, so you really want to upgrade those things before you get out in the field and they cause you some problems. One of which, number one, absolutely must upgrade on any tent that you get is the stakes. The stakes that the manufacturers give to you with, your, with their tents are cheap, they bend easily, and to be honest, a good quality aluminum stake is probably going to end up weighing a little bit less. Now the stakes that I went with, they're uh, they're right here. They are similar to the MSR Groundhogs. They're not the actual Groundhogs because you know I'm broke like a lot of you guys. But they are a fairly decent quality. I got these on Amazon.com. I think they were ten dollars for eight of them. They're a decent quality stake. They're actually lighter than the stock ones that came with the tent, and they are more rugged. Now I live in Maine, so we get a lot of stones and rocks in the ground. So these things will, as you can see on the tip here, they will start to get bent and chewed up. You know, I mean, that's just kind of nature of the beast up here in the backwoods of Maine and New Hampshire. We have a lot of granite in the ground around here and your stakes are gonna get beat up. Eventually you're gonna have to replace them. I don't care who makes them. MSR groundhogs are no different. So I figured I would save a little bit of money and get myself the slightly less expensive ones. They'll probably last about, last about the same amount of time, but I ended up saving probably $10. Uh, the next thing I'm going to want to recommend that you guys upgrade is your guy lines. Now, most of the guy lines that come from the factory, they're just plain black cord, and I'm telling you what, you are going to get out, out of your tent in the middle of the night, and you're going to go to use the bathroom, and you are going to trip over your cords, and it's going to be a mess. So your best bet is to get yourself some of this stuff, which is a reflective cord. Uh, I believe this stuff is Night Eyes. This is the green. They also come in a whole bunch of other different colors. It is reflective. You can see these little gray triangles here. They will reflect your uh, your flashlight. And I'm telling you what, these things really will stand out in the night when you put your light on them. These are awesome. They weigh about the same amount as your regular black cord. But, again, it's going to increase the capability of your tent. You're going to see better in the night. You're not going to trip over the thing. You're not going to tear a hole in your tent. You're not going to knock the whole thing down. I would, however, recommend hanging on to your old guy lines because you can actually use that cordage to lash stuff to your backpack and you can also lash your tent with it. You can do a whole bunch of stuff with cord and it's basically free because you're getting it with the tent to begin with anyway. The last thing I'm going to recommend, well, actually not quite the last thing I'm going to recommend to you guys, but for you guys who are ultra ounce conscious, if you guys who want to save every ounce that you can, most tents will come with way too many stuff sacks. My particular tent, the Kelty Grand Mesa 2, came with one main stuff sack for the whole tent. And then it also came with another stuff sack for the poles, and it came with another stuff sack for the guy lines and the stakes, and then it came with an extra tie for the whole thing. That's ridiculous, you don't need that much stuff. You can wrap all of your stakes, your guy lines, and your poles all up in the center of the tent. It's not going to damage anything, and it's going to save you several ounces. Another thing you can do on the inside of the tent, once you get it, you can cut the warning labels off. I know, I know, you're not supposed to cut the warning labels off, but you know the dangers of tenting as well as I do, so I don't think that you're going to use your fire too close to the tent and set it on fire. I think we're all smarter than that. So you can save yourself an ounce or two by cutting off all of the warning labels, and by getting rid of all of these extra stuff sacks and ties, they're just ridiculous. You don't need them. The last thing that I'm going to recommend to you guys is the old backpacker's trip trick, the old camper's trick. Um, don't go to the manufacturer to buy your ground sheet because it's going to be too expensive. You know, you're looking at probably $40, $50 for a ground cover. 
when you can go down to any one of your outdoor outfitters. Personally, I go down to Kittery Trading Post because they're right down the street, and you can buy yourself a ground cover sheet for anywhere between three fifty and five dollars, and you can cut that actually to suit your needs so that. The factory ground cover doesn't cover underneath your vestibule. If you have a rain cover with a vestibule on your tent, you can custom cut your ground cover to match that vestibule so you get full ground cover underneath the entire tent plus your vestibule so all your gear stays dry. Anyway, I just wanted to give you guys those few hints and if you got any questions, feel free to hit me up in a private message or uh, you know do some searching on, on the internet and you'll find other information from all kinds of other guys. And I hope you guys are out there enjoying some adventures during the summer, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks.